So if you're looking to get into vaping, I would ask what you've tried before, if you were an ex-smoker. So are most of your customers ex-smokers or people who are looking to give up smoking? For the most part, yes, I would say so. Dove started vaping six years ago as a smoker. He was looking for a healthier and cheaper option. My friends were starting it up as well. I tried theirs. It was a nice experience. You don't have to deal with carrying tobacco, everything else. The cost of cigarettes were going up. It seemed like a more cost affordable option and it tasted nice, so why not? But now scientists have for the first time made a link between e-cigarettes and an increased risk of cancer. What we have found is that basically changes to the DNA of cells, for instance, in the mouth, um, but they are also reflective of lung tissue um, that are found in smokers where we know that there is a link to cancer, um, are also observed in e-cigarette users. Tobacco and vapes, Bill. The research comes on the same day the country moved towards stopping the next generation taking up smoking. The tobacco and vapes bill means anyone turning 15 this year will never legally be sold cigarettes as the age limit will rise by one every year. The bill will also tackle vaping by introducing new powers to regulate new flavours and packaging that targets children. But that's it. But now we know about this link to cancer, is there a danger that the new law is already falling behind the science? The country's chief medical officer thinks more research is needed. I think it's a useful bit of initial science, but it's not the same as a large study proving a, a link. That'll take a lot longer, but I think what it reinforces is our central message, which is whilst we encourage people who currently smoke, if they find vapes helpful to swap to vaping, we absolutely do not recommend that people uh, who currently do not smoke take up vaping, uh, and it is utterly unacceptable to market to children. The Prime Minister has made banning vapes his personal crusade, urging children to stay away from them. And that message will be easier to deliver if the science proving e-cigarette harms continues to build. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.